Okay, that was two cans of lemon pie filling. I'm gonna go ahead and just scrape that out because that baby did not want to come out of there. Sure, you noticed that that baby was staying in the can. So let's just go ahead and scrape that all out because it's the lemony goodness that we do not want to waste. Let's go ahead and get that second one too. Mmm, I love the sound of lemon in cans. It just makes me think of spring. Okay, now that we've done that, I have one stick of salted butter and I'm gonna go ahead and melt it. One minute on that. Okay, now we're gonna slide this out of the way. Bring in our bowl. Mm. That lemon is so good, you guys. I got some super moist lemon cake mix. This is going to be such a lemony, easy recipe. Perfect for spring, Easter, summer, you name it, all right? You name it. Exactly. I got an egg here, I'm gonna crack it. Don't roast me on my egg cracking skills, guys. I just kinda. Kyra, I've never seen anyone ever crack an egg like that. I just kinda crushed that egg up. <laughs> pop that in there. I didn't get no shells though. Second egg. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there. Yeah, you got all that yolk on your hands. I got yolk on my hands. Take upon your own yolk, you guys. Ooh, the butter is ready. Let's get it out. Yay! Ooh, look at that. Let's go. Mm. Wow, that was so loud. I love a nice lemon cake on a spring day. It's April Fools, everybody. Did you know that? I just remember that. I'm gonna go ahead and put- Oh wow, you're right. I thought you were making that up. <laughs> I'm gonna put some bacon bits in here and some jalapenos. April Fools! Ah, I got you! Oh my God, this is getting so thick. Let's go. Let's get that arm workout. I'm gonna like, tag team this because my other hand was tired. Oh, look at that, you guys. Whoa. A good pace. I know you guys don't like when I say you guys, but <laughs> I like to address my audience. Let me know if you love lemon just like I do. Yeah, All good. right, this is so thick. I think this is gonna be, this is ready. Oh, let me get those You bottles. guys, is nice. Like, you can call them other things. How does things. it look? Ooh, it looks like the sun. Does it look good on the bottom? It does. Okay, we're ready to go ahead and put this in our crock pot. Mm. Let's go ahead and slide that baby back in here just like that. Let me go ahead and just clean that up a little bit. You guys, excuse me for my sloppiness. I know I'm sloppy, but it still tastes good. Okay, let's add this in. Oh, it's heavy, hold on. Okay. Ooh, look how thick that is. Wow. That is really thick. Probably be better to use the... I actually need to use the spatula for this. Yeah. Because it's so thick, it just uh, not won't come out of here. Okay, hold on. <laughs> you could put the mixer in the butter. <laughs> hold on. See, I shouldn't have put that damn egg in there because now it's like this and it's not supposed to be like that. <laughs> it's supposed to be crumbles. Let me get the bigger spatula for that shit. It's really... Where is that? You need it time. Okay, but it's fine. It's fine. It's okay. You're adapting, you're not making it just like I'm just adapting, to eat. yeah. All right, you guys. <sighs> My fellow Facebook enthusiasts. Is that what you would like to call me to call you? 
leave a comment below on how you would uh, like me to address the audience because they would like you to address them as master 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 facebook <laughs> audience look at this y'all this is really just it's thick. Three C's. Oh, look at that. You yes. know how to spell thick? T H I C C C. <laughs> Where did you learn that? In the hood. The Urban Dictionary? In the hood. All right. Look at this, guys. I'm really trying to just get all this out here because I know that you guys don't want me to be wasteful. Facebook enthusiasts. All right, ready? <laughs> you have. Why you keep on calling them? They didn't. They didn't vote just yet. Oh, Lord, that was heavy. Okay. They have to mix that. Spread it. You spread it on top of the lemon filling like this. It almost looks like a a cookie dough. Mm. Yes. Oh, look at. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Get that color and that mm. <sighs> oh yes yes okay I love it I love it wow that was so easy and so quick <laughs> <laughs> let's wipe this down and we're gonna go ahead and put this in the oven or no we're not gonna put it in the oven <laughs> this is a crock pot so we're gonna <laughs> Cook this in the crock pot. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to put the lid on. And we're going to cook this on high. Oh no, we're going to cook this on. <laughs> we're going to cook this on low for four hours. And we'll be back. Let's put this on warm and see how it came out. Whoa, look at all the steam. Like lemon. Oh my goodness. Ooh. You have a lot of hair. You're looking really beautiful. Oh, thank you. Oh my god, I gotta get some of this, you guys. Whoa. It's like really firm cake. Like, wow. Let's try to scoop that off because I forgot to grease my crock pot. So just make sure that you grease your crock pot when you make this, okay? You're gonna be here forever. Get all the way to the this. bottom. Oh, it's really creamy. Wow. Oh. That is a lemon dump cake right there. Whoa. Okay, now watch me. Watch this. Put some ice cream, French vanilla. Ooh, yummy. Let me get this out of my way. Let's get a nice big scoop. Yum, look at that. I put it. Oh! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Looks so pretty. Go for it. It's gonna be really hot. So Not that's with the why ice cream. We use the ice cream to get a good diffuse the heat a little bit. Yeah. I'm just gonna try this little piece right here. Where's the ice cream? I'm gonna get it. Hold on. good you guys wow <laughs> it's because of the eggs make this for spring <laughs> for easter oh yep for everything yep make it oh what do you have here all right today we're having a cool twist on a classic recipe. Guess what I'm making? We got some uh, mashed potatoes and some bacon. Next, we're gonna throw on some color. We got some whole kern, kernel corn. I drained it, but I don't think you really have to drain it if you don't want to, because we do need some liquid in here to cook the mashed potatoes. 
Ooh. And I love using the Fire Roasted Rotel. It looks really good, it has a nice little char on the uh, tomatoes. And you don't have to line it up like this, I just think it looks kind of cool. And we're putting even more spice, we'll put it on one side, so if you don't like spice, you don't have to use the spice, but uh, we'll just finger it out right here. Look at that, it's got another nice little char in it too. It looks beautiful. All right, next I have a bunch of cloves of garlic. You can use diced garlic, uh, but I like the cloves. They look really cool. Like, look at that, and once it cooks down, you're not gonna get a big chunk of garlic. Once it's in the oven, it doesn't really taste like anything. It just smells really, really good. All right, now we do have to put some broth. You could use any broth you want. But I'm gonna put chicken broth. I know it might be weird mixing chicken broth with bacon, but we have to submerge that mashed potatoes so it will cook right. There we go, look at that. Splash it on there. Alrighty. Alright, and two right here, we're gonna use some butter. I have this cool little tool. I actually haven't used it myself, so we're gonna find out if it does anything. All right, that was pretty cool. <laughs> so these little pats of butter. You gotta have butter with your mashed potato one pan oven. So we're just gonna throw these on here. You can make them look pretty, you don't have to, but look at that, looks really great. Beautiful. My mom's here watching me cook today. So pretty. Uh, thanks, mom. All right, quick, easy. A nice little spin instead of making a bunch of baked potatoes, just throw it all in one pan. All right, next, you gotta put green onions, all right? So they're in like all mashed potatoes, so just wanna cut some in there. Keep it simple, you can make it pretty if you want, or you can just do it like how I'm doing it, just cut them in there. Keeping it simple, this is gonna be a really good meal. Bam, bam, bam. That's about right. And I think a lot of people put Tabasco, so I'm throwing some Tabasco in there. This is new. Let's get that in there. Ooh, yeah. We're just slapping it in there. Alrighty. Alright, we're gonna finish it off with some onion powder. It's a little bit of spices just to make it taste even better. Here. Oh yeah, the most important thing. We gotta put the cheese. Cheese, very important. Colby Jack cheese, any cheese works. We're gonna put a nice top layer on here. This covers the whole thing. Look at that cheese. Oh yeah, cheese makes everything taste good. Even, there you go. Yeah, make any dish taste good with a bunch of cheese on top. So yeah, we're gonna just layer that on there. Pat it down, kinda press it a little bit. Nice and compact. It's almost like a baked potato casserole pie looking thing. Yeah. All righty. That's, I think that's about it. So we're gonna put this in the oven about 375 for about 30, 40 minutes and uh, be ready to eat this guys. This is the baked potato one pan dish. It looks so good. Nice and crispy on top. All right, let's take a piece. But first I just want to put a little bit of sour cream in the corner with a piece that I'm gonna take. So let's put it right here. Ooh, yeah, just a little bit. I'll put a little bit more. I love this. Great, easy, a little twist on the classic dish. Let's cut into this. Let's get that. Ooh, it's pretty nice and crispy. Bam, look at that cheese. Oh yeah, those look pretty good. It's kind of like a pie. All right, let's give it a look. I like it. Like the mashed potato is almost like cooked like a pie. It looks really good. Take a little bite. Mm hmm it is really good. Love the mashed potatoes, love everything. It's a nice little twist on the classic recipe. Try making it at home, one pan, no cleanup.
All right, you guys, so we're going to break apart all those pieces. Some of them have two layers, some of them have three. We're going to make a very easy one pan dinner tonight, and it's going to be wonderful. I did wash my hands. Some people would still say, um, put on some gloves. Now, you know every time you're at home, you don't put on no gloves. So we're going to just break these apart. Here's one big last one. I did um, spray my pan with some vegetable oil. That is super important. All right, so once these are all breaking apart or separated thoroughly, next up I'm going to add some marinara sauce to it. Not too much, I would say at least two thirds of the bottle of Manera. I had got this at the Signature Select, which is, I believe, Albertson's brand. Next up, I have some minced garlic. Now, I love garlic, and especially if you live in the South or anywhere that has uh, mosquitoes, I would suggest you eat a lot of garlic for the summer. All right, so I'm going to do three in total. And then we'll just mix that around. Just like that. All right. I have some home style meatballs. I'm going to go ahead again with my scissors. One, two, gracefully. Cover the dish with the meatballs, and as the dough rises, because it will be hot. And when you work with dough and you marinate it, kind of with marinate with the sauce, you're gonna want to leave it in longer because um, you don't want to eat it while it's still doughy. So I'm gonna add some whole Italian seasoning. A little bit of garlic pepper because it's so good and then I'm going to use Tony's Tony man let me tell you the seasoning has a little bit of a kick not too much but just enough all right let me end it with some black pepper Super easy, super affordable, one pan dinner dish. And you can't forget the Italian style cheese, okay? We're going to just gracefully put that over everything. Let's look at these bigger parts. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so we're going to set the oven at 350, and we're going to leave it in for a good whopping 55 minutes. I can't wait to show you guys the end results because this right here is a game changer. All right, you guys, this is, this might be a game changer, you know. Um, there's like four ingredients, and it filled the house up with these beautiful smells. Oh, do you guys hear that crunch? It's going to be good. A good scoop right here yes now that is important I will um, acknowledge that I did say about 55 minutes I left it in for an hour and a half only because I did not want it to be doughy still so I wanted to cook the meatball but also cook the bread which I did and the bread is going to be super super moist because of the marinara, but it is fully cooked. It's hot. Oh, my mouth is watering. Mm. Wow. Whoa. 
Yes, that bread is super soft and cooked. Um, and then the meatballs are really nice and juicy, you guys. Let me go ahead. Yep. You guys, this is so good. I think that your grandbabies, your kids would like, all ages would like this. Who doesn't like bread, cheese, uh, marinara sauce, and meatballs? This is so good. And that seasoning, you can definitely taste that garlic. Go ahead and try it for you and your family and have a amazing dish to eat. All right, so I added some ground beef. I added some mushrooms. I'm gonna add some salt-free Mrs. Dash garlic and herb. Mm. I'm excited about this one. I'm gonna put like this. Make sure you mush up those mushrooms. Really get all up in there. All right, next I'm going to add some onion. Perfect. I'm going to add some garlic. I'm going to go just add a little bit. Mm -hmm. Smells good. Again, go and mix it up. All right. Then I'm gonna add some cheddar cheese. Whole beef jack, what the hell? I didn't know cheddar jack. cheese. Clearly I'm just saying stuff. I know. Just saying it's cheddar, cheddar jack. Yeah, next up I have some Lipton recipe secret mm. beef onion. I'm gonna put it in. Oh no, I forgot to pay the light bill. <laughs> Sorry you guys, keep on watching my videos so I can pay the light bill. Alright, I'm gonna... Oh, that last quarter kicked in. We're gonna just shake this all around. Get this edges, all this powder. Alright, next up I'm going to move this. Bring in my bowl. I'm gonna crack two eggs. cup of milk. Mm -hmm. Then I have some Bisquick shaken pour. Say I'm not adding it on the inside. I'm going to open this up because it's the only one that I can find at the store. I'm going to do half a cup. Just like that. Oh, mm. This is what I got today. If you have a blender, put it in the blender. Blend it on that. If you have one of those mixers, electrical miskers, use one of those as well. Miskers. I know, miskers. All right, I'm gonna go back with my Cheddar Jack cheese. I'm gonna empty the rest out. A good handful now. I'm gonna mix it with my cheese. Splatted on you? Mm, maybe. The viper spit? Uh-huh. What is this, a pancake mix? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and break all of this up. I'm gonna put this in here. Wow, this bowl is spinning while I'm mixing. So fancy. All right, just look at the layers. Wow, <laughs> so cool. <laughs> There's so many colors.
Alright, we're gonna just pour this. Okay. On top. What are you making, bread? Not bread. There's me, there's no... Oh. <laughs> bread. Okay, we're gonna go back with the Cheddar Jack. Where'd you, where'd you find this recipe? On some minor little page. <laughs> we're gonna go around. Better not be copying people's recipes, Chris. Oh no. Never. Me, I added ingredients. Okay. I made good. it original. That's good. Because That's I'm good. original. There we go. Oh my. <laughs> Let me get my onion powder. Because <laughs> if we didn't need a, more onion after the uh, onion mix. There you go. Ooh. Ooh. That was a laugh. Alright, you guys, let's just put this in the oven. 375 for like 15, 20 minutes. Hey, it's done! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got my little cutter. You hear that? Ooh, Ooh I know. I made this for you and you're not even going to eat it. Mm -hmm. All right, let's just go for it. Oh, do you see that? <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be so delicious. Mmm. All right, let's get. Looks a little hot. Blowing hot away. is my middle name. <laughs> Let me try that again, you guys. Also, you guys try this for your grandma. You gotta make it so good. All right, you guys, so I added my mixed colored potatoes, my carrots, that I'm going to bring back in my Cajun sausage, sausage links. I'm gonna go ahead and do it like this so I could cut it. All right. Make sure you touch all four of them at one time so you can get special luck. And it's just a great feeling, feeling all four of them at the same time. All right, I love these sausages because they have a little kick, but they're not too spicy, but then they're not just plain. They got some seasoning. I love seasoning. As you guys all know, I will add seasoning and cheese. I'm trying to stay away from the cheese, y'all now, because it's no good. It's no, no good. All right. So now that they are all chopped, I am going to carefully pick this up so it doesn't roll. Bring this bad boy in and just dump them. Uh-oh, almost ran away. All right, just like that, you guys. This looks so splendid, so delicious. I'm excited. Actually, I'm gonna use this cutting board to, for my onion. I don't really use a lot of onion um, but I'm going to make them big so that they're easy to, um, see. Why onions ravel, unravel like this? That makes no sense. All right, we're going to do one more. All right, just like that. I'm going to put this. Like I said, you guys, I'm going to make them big enough where, um, they're visible. I'll just put them on the carrots, um, because I want to get the seasoning because um, onions do really have a really good um, just taste that I love and adore. All right, so I'm going to add some black pepper. I'm going to add a gracious amount because a lot of these, um, I mean, specifically the carrots and potatoes 
they don't come really like with a lot of flavor. All right, I have some salt. Got to be careful putting this on. I don't want too much. A little for the sausages. It's always good when the sausage is just a little salty. All right, next up I have, where is it? Some thyme. Some thyme. Let me go put this all over. Make sure you really get the potatoes so it falls in the cracks. Next up, I have some parsley flakes. Make sure you get the potatoes again because they ain't got no really seasoning. I have some Italian seasoning. This is great for cookouts, summer events, summer potlucks, going to the park, paprika. All right. Had some spice to that occasion. Gonna be a little spicy. Next up, I have some chopped basil. It's a lot of green. But it's a lot, these spices I'm using just have so much flavor. And that's what we're trying to um, really pull out. We're going to go ahead and close this. All right. Next up, I have a whole land o lakes butter. We're going to just open this up. I'm going to put one. If I can fit it. right over the potatoes put it in just like that let that melt and marinate i'm gonna add a half a stick so it gets the carrots and it will drizzle again when it melts it's going to drizzle all the way down and it's going to steam that's what's going to really get everything going um i am going to add just for um some flavor um, some chicken broth and just so it could boil at the bottom so we have that steam that will cook from the bottom up I, I have my foil paper or my foil I could say and turn it up just like this make sure that everything is all right, now we're going to put this in the oven. We're going to leave it at 375 for a good 30 minutes. All right, you guys, it is done and it smells delicious. Ooh, you guys ready for this aroma for y'all to see? Let's open it up. Ooh, wow. Wow. Get some of this. Wow is a nice. good word. This looks... Fabulous! Yes! Let's get some sausages. Get some potatoes. Some onions and carrots. Have you seen the fifth element before? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna say? <laughs> this looks like. Uh, no, no, it was the. I was like, you should be uh, Chris Rock's character for because they're like, oh, yes, 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 everybody, come oh. on, sit down, yes, darling. Oh, I, dang, I almost forgot about that movie. Thank you, Ryan, for reminding me. <laughs> That's a good one. How about my true future is gonna be like? <laughs> I'm gonna be a movie star, uh -huh. a musician, yeah, a singer. It, I think it was like an influencer too. Yeah, something like that. Influencer. Mm -hmm. Listen, you guys. I'm gonna eat this bite, but after this bite, go check out my music. Got two albums out: Chris Ivan, <sighs> Biggest Battle on All My Terms. <sighs> I do pop music. <sighs> I have a visual album out. All right, let's go ahead and try this. Hot. Wow. Wow. That was beyond delicious. I'm going to flush it down with my brand new a and I'm going to drink it because it's hot. But this is delicious. 
Your kids will love the little sausages. They will like the carrots because they want strong eyes and they don't want it before eyed with no glasses. And then the potatoes. Who doesn't like potatoes? I would actually throw some ketchup on that. Y'all, it's perfect. Take it to the cookout. Take it to game day. Take it for the um, potlucks. And I mean, even give it to your in-laws. They might like you for once. Hey guys, I'm coming back with another little quick, easy recipe. Now what I'm doing is that what I initially showed you is an angel food cake. And I'm just going to show you guys like what I try to do sometimes when I have leftover stuff. We had ended up making a Martha Stewart, like kind of like a cobbler. And we had used the apple filling. And once I had got done, I had still had apple filling left. And I'm like, what am I going to do with this? I didn't want to throw it away. So I said, you know what? I think I have an angel food cake in there. I think I'm just going to, excuse me, I can't dump it the other way. <laughs> he hates when I do that. But sometimes it's just hard for me to grip stuff. So I have to kind of pour it the way that I kind of can. But... Um, I knew that I had an angel food cake, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to try to do the angel food cake with the apples, and we'll see how that comes out. I think it's supposed to mix. <laughs> we'll see. I think it'll mix because I don't have no another angel, no um, more apple. And it should mix because it was more wet stuff than it was the um apples because i had just picked the apple slices out so it was a lot of the um the liquid filling part left so yeah i was like i'm not about to throw this whole last little bit of apples away i am going to use that now i have the oven heating to 350 so if you do something like this you know, just already have the oven heated so that way when you get done, it'll just be ready to pop in the oven. Oh, that did that um mixed up quite nicely. I was like scared for a minute, like, okay, now nah, I made a mess. What are we gonna do with this dry mixture? Okay, it didn't come out too bad. And I just did it in the one pan. Be sick of dirty enough stuff because then it'd be all this stuff to wash later on nope i'm gonna pour all of this in one pan and get it together and with the angel food cake when you mix it with the fruit you can do it in one pan because i did one with pineapples and it came out really really good and it was mixed in the one pan and it was just fine so it's like no need no fuss no muss because I hate washing dishes. And what's crazy at home, I have a dishwasher and I think I use my dishwasher one time. So, in a whole year, I've only used my dishwasher once. Okay, so I'm going to spray this a little bit because it's just like dry. Just get that. Don't want to spray it too much because I think it'll weigh the um, angel food cake down. Now, I have a little bit of cinnamon and sugar that I had mixed together. Now, I had just looked up some recipes real quick because, like I said, I had never used the apple filling before. And I seen where somebody had a recipe and they did it with a crumble on the top. I'm like, now that probably is really, really good. Um, you know, just your basic crumble. Now, if I just really felt like it, I did a crumble not too long ago, and it was a low-fat crumble, and that crumble was good. It was made with oats, um, like brown sugar, cinnamon, and applesauce. Applesauce was the binder. So you know how usually with a crumble you use um, butter, as the um, fastener, nope, the fastener was applesauce. And it was really, really good. I was really surprised. I was like, oh, this is a keeper. 
this is a really good um, crumble you kind of don't have to worry about it you don't have to worry about the fat either and you're good to go so I'm gonna get this in the oven on 350 let's see how long I think angel food cakes needs to cook at least for 30 minutes so I'm gonna put it in there and I'm gonna set the timer for 30 minutes and then I'll kind of check it but when I come back, I'll let you know the exact time. So I will see you in a minute. Okay, guys, I just took this out the oven. This is the apple and angel food cake. I had just used the leftover apple filling that I had. Now this cake, it does look dark. And that's because every time I kept touching the middle, it was soft. So I'm like, I don't think that's done, you know. Um, everything cooks a little bit different so it does look super brown but I don't think I burnt it that doesn't look burnt no that looks absolutely perfect huh? like perfect. <laughs> it looks absolutely perfect I was like oh I don't know because that looks extra brown that looks really really good that is just the apple filling with the angel food cake if I am not mistaken, I love the crust, so I'll taste a little piece of the outer piece. If I'm not mistaken, angel food cake is not fattening. I don't think it has any fat in it. So this will be an extra good treat for people that are dieting, like towards the end of the week, you can make this and just, hey, have your piece of cake, Friday, Saturday, have it with your coffee, but I'm gonna taste this. That's good too. Like, <laughs> I'm really, really pleased. I am really, really pleased. That came out really, really good. It's really like crusty around the edges, but the inside is still super moist. It's super moist. The piece of apple. Yes. And that was so quick and so simple. That was with the leftover apple pie filling. I didn't want to throw it away, so I tried to just make something real quick. We donate everything that we cook here, but this, I'm probably going to take this home. This will just be for, I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. I'll have it in the morning with my coffee. This is good. So now I know I can make me some different variations of it. Make a peach one. I was looking up a lemon one with the lemon filling, so I might try that one also. That's for the lemon lovers, but this one is good. I am really, really pleased. We didn't know how it was going to turn out. When we were mixing it, it was like, uh, um, I don't know about this, but this is good. This is definitely a try. Um, it's certain things that I do keep. I keep like cake mixes in angel food cake stuff like that i have that as a staple so i am glad that i did have an angel food cake just to mix up with the apple filling because i am really pleased with the turnout it does look dark but it doesn't taste burnt so this is definitely a try so until next time bye